One of the great things about LA is how diverse it is. And seeing how prominent the Japanese American community is here, it made me really want to dive into my heritage and learn more about the Japanese a part of me. I was born and raised in Texas to a Japanese grandmother and a father who is half Japanese. My grandmother was born and raised in Okinawa, Japan. And my father was born in Okinawa and lived there until he was seven years old. To be able to spend time in Little Tokyo and visit the Japanese American National Museum is just amazing. And to be able to do it with three generations, my grandmother and my father, is even more special. This was one of the actual barracks uh, from one of the camps uh, in Wyoming. The volunteers went up there, took one apart, and brought it back here and put it back together again. There were 10 of these concentration camps that they put us in, and one was in the, up in Wyoming. And so this was one of the original camps. So it just gives you an idea of what the living conditions were for us. We call this exhibit Common Grounds, okay? okay? Because, as you know, America is made up of people from all over the world, right? right? right. And so they all bring their own culture and languages. Mm -hmm. And so we all start with the same kind of problems, right? Yeah. And so we say we all start on a common ground. The early Japanese, when they first started coming to America, this is what they brought. They didn't have suitcases like that. You no, know, they might have a couple of pieces of, you know, the kimono or something kimono. like that. I wore these as a kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody uses them. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're very comfortable. Different. They don't look it, but they are. They look comfortable. Very yeah. light. I don't know if you could play soccer in them. I mean, not quite. <laughs> this is a wood board. Yeah. yeah. In February of 1942, President Roosevelt issued Executive Order 9066. That's the number that all the people in the Japanese community remember because that leads to this evacuation, incarceration. This is Topaz, picture of Topaz. This is where we were taken. So these were the living quarters with four rooms in each of the barracks, and one on each end and two in the middle. And because we had nine in my family, they gave us the two in the middle. And then so these were where we had our meals and the showers and the toilet areas were like that. When the war ended and we were coming back, people who were coming back to California, a lot of their belongings that they had stored was trashed. So there's a lot of, a lot of, you know, still a lot of hate going on. Yeah. That museum tour was, was something truly special. I mean, sharing it with three generations and for us to have different experiences from it. I mean, for my grandma, it was, you know, rewinding the clock, remembering her heritage, her culture, something that she probably hasn't seen in over 50 years. For my dad, is is a combination of both, remembering things, learning things. Um, and for me, it was a whole new experience. It was for me, it was just, it was eye opening, and it was really truly special just hearing the different stories from, um, you know, my grandma talking about her father, my dad giving me his stories from, you know, when he was seven, ten years old. And I was just in there just taking it all in, just really, you know, observing it all, you know, seeing, you know, how powerful everything was for my grandma, seeing what Japanese people in particular had to endure, especially after World War II. It was just truly special to see everyone's different experience and takeaways from, from that trip to the museum was super memorable. What, what about you? Do you remember any of it? Well, I just remember the items that they showed, the little things that when we're growing up, I what remember those it? Japanese items, those little the shoes and things like that. Oh, the shoes. And I remember learning, you know, when you take... And they some of the blackboard too, right? Yeah, the blackboard. Uh, yeah, 
some of the items uh, learned about some of it you know going through school about it but i didn't know in that detail that these kind of things happen to our people it's heartbreaking to think that people went through that i know and if we don't you know pass along the message it could happen again to another group of people yeah seriously and this is the sushi place sushi and grill oh nice come on in this way take a look we're going in here seeing you in there, you know, just looking back and, you know, you were just smiling and so big, especially like when we were walking at the beginning, when you're looking at the, the school and how it brought you back memories, you remember the basket and what they carried and it was, just, it was special to see you kind of just relive all that and, and you experience that. I thought that was really cool. And even you, I mean, you, you, you remember some of this stuff too. Well, I do just remember these items in Japan when we lived there, and then coming here, a lot of it still followed us here. Because yeah, uh, you were there, what, since you, to what age? Ten? Uh, until I was seven. Seven? But then we brought a lot of the things here, and then just yeah. seen it. I remember you having them just in your house, like the sandals, to, to this, to the fans. Yes. I remember like your magazines, you would read it from back to front, instead of front to back. You know, you start from the back. Top down, yeah. Top right down, to it left, is yeah. vertical. Instead of like horizontal, I know. yeah. I just, I mean, all of it. And just looking at it, I'm like, wow, this is interesting. My grandma was creative in her ways of implementing things into my life, whether it's, you know, she taught me how to speak to 20. She was pretty hard nosed and in and, and, and schooling. Having that made my dad super strict on me, which helped me excel academically, even on, in sports. That part of me, you know, helped me understand people more so. Um, than anything because I feel like I can relate to so many different people just, just based on, you know, my upbringing. Is there something you, you recommend? This is our best seller. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's on me. Oh, thank you. I like to try the same thing. Yeah, it's been in business for a long, long, long time. Uh, Next year will be 120th anniversary. Amazing. We're the oldest business in the country, the Japanese American owned. Like some of these candies bring back memory. This is like some of the candy that my grandma used to have just lying around her, her house that I haven't seen in, couldn't even tell you how long it's been. I just want to present you, give you two. Uh, so you has and some pens. Oh, thank you. Uh, I just want to thank you for, for having us here and letting us try some of your your uh, great so mochi. It's so good. So good. Awesome. Thank, thank you so you, much. Man. Yeah. Good luck in your career. Yeah, thank you. It's brought to my attention I'll be the first Japanese American to play in a World Cup, potentially. I mean, so don't make the team, but um, it's something huge, making history always want to make people proud and now I got a whole new supporter section. It's a proud moment and um, you know I'm excited to not only represent my country but you know Japanese Americans especially.